Yeah. I want the money, money in the cars, cars in the clothes, the hoes, I suppose. I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. What's up, guys? Um, ID Mac here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Skype and how to use it on your iPhone your iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS. Now, um, as you know, Skype for the iPhone, you need to be on Wi-Fi to use it, but today I'm going to show you how to use it without being on Wi-Fi and using your 3G network. And also, I'll show you how to use it with Backgrounder, so you can actually receive calls while your Skype application is not active on your iPhone. So you can just leave it all day and then you will still be able to receive calls. All right, so right now I have two accounts that I made so I can make test calls. On my Mac, this this Skype right here, this is running on my Mac. Um, I'm going to sign in on ID Mac and then all right, I'm going to sign in right now. So this is, right now is on my Mac. Um, next, I'm going to sign in on my iPhone. As you can see right here is IDNIS. That's a different account, and I'm gonna sign in right now. Hold on, I'm gonna hide the password. Okay. So now I'm signing in. All right, as you can see, um. I'm listed as D in my ID Mac and then over here on my iPhone I'm listed as the ID Mac. So ID Mac is the Skype on running on Mac right now. So I have two accounts both running. Now I can make a as you know Skype is uh, is free as long as it's Skype to Skype or unless you have Skype credits. I go to my info and right now you can see I have no Skype credits. So I'm just going to show you the you know the calling of uh Skype to Skype. Now if I make a call right now I'm going to call my ID Max account using my IDness account. As you can see, my iPhone right now is calling my Max account. So if I pick it up, I start talking, talking testing, 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 testing. Okay. In the call. So that works. Now as you can see, I'm running on Wi-Fi. But right now I'm going to show you how, how to use it on 3G. All right, guys, to get Skype to work on 3G, um, you're going to have to download 3G Unrestrictor from Cydia. So obviously you're going to need to be a, have a jailbroken iPhone. Right here, run Cydia. Uh, before we download the 3G Unrestrictor, we're going to have to add the source. So go into Manage, click on Sources, on the top right, hold on, it's downloading releases, reloading data, top right click Edit, top left click Add. Okay, so here's the repo, it's R-E-P-O dot sinful iphone dot com so it's repo dot sinful iphone dot com add the source I'll have it in the description I already have it so now your sources you should have this right here now click search search for 3g Unrestrictor. You should get these two right here. Now download the 3G Unrestricted Cracked from Sinful iPhone Repo because that is free. This one right here from Big Boss that is two dollars. So just download this one right here, the Unrestricted Cracked version. It's free. Um, just download it. I mean, um, top right, confirm, install it. All right. Then you should have this icon right here. 3G unrestricted. Now open it. Okay. So let me just delete this and I'll show you guys 
All right, so you'll get this like this. Uh, once you open 3G Unrestricted, to unrestrict an app, press Edit and then press the Add button. So top left, we're gonna click Add. I mean Edit. Sorry. Top right, click the plus sign. Now they're gonna give you a list. You can search for it or just scroll down to the S section and look for Skype. So right here, click on Skype. Now it's added. Click done. There you go. Now Skype is added to the 3G unrestricted. Now you can use Skype on 3G. All right. Uh, next thing you should download is Backgrounder. So this enables you to use Skype in the background. So even if you close Skype, like right now, I'm gonna close my phone. As you can see, I'm still online. So uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna shut off 3G. I mean Wi-Fi right now, and I'm gonna show you how Skype will work on 3G and also using Backgrounder. So you could receive calls. It's sort of like push uh, notification for Skype because now you have Skype closed and running in the background. So continue watching. All right, guys. So um, I just turned off turned off Wi-Fi. So my demo god on the screen is not working anymore. So I'm gonna switch over to this mini cam. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is turned off, so right now my iPhone is running on 3G. Now, I'm going to open up Skype. So I'm, right now I'm on 3G. Now I'm going to make a test call to my ID Mac. So as you can see, my Skype right now is working and I'm on running on 3G. So everything works. Uh, I'll just pick it up just to show you guys. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. So it works. There you go. Now again, I'm on 3G. I'm gonna show you guys the backgrounder. I'm gonna hold the home button. And right there it says background are enabled. So right now, as you can see, my iPhone is closed. Even if I shut off my iPhone, I am still online on my on my Mac. I can still be seen seen visible. I'm gonna call him real quick to show you guys. Right now my iPhone is ringing, and it's off. So. I'll show you guys. Pick, open up Skype, and you see somebody ringing. So that's how you use Skype. This is how you fully use Skype on 3G. So with Backgrounder, you could have Skype. You could use it anywhere, and pretty much make your phone really cheap. You make international calls really cheap, or even Skype to Skype for free. So that's how you use Skype. Um, if you enjoyed the video. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.